serious are you serious? It's getting very serious out here. Get a cup of coffee. BP Earthwatch, I guess, yesterday did a video last night. Um, I, I saw it yesterday evening where Mount St. Helens has had a series of earthquakes that are not being reported. I repeat, not being reported at all by the U.S. Geological Survey. And they're happening right inside, uh, right on top of Mount St. Helens there, right in the dome area where the last eruption took place in May of 1980. I remember that election because, I mean, excuse me, that eruption. I remember the election too, by the way. Uh, the eruption, uh, I was actually a senior in high school. And it was, I was just getting ready to graduate. It was like a couple weeks before graduation when Mount St. Helens exploded. And it did. It blew the top of the mountain off. It was an incredible event, uh, one of biblical proportions. Well, it's rumbling a little bit again. Matter of fact, there was some seismic activity taking place, and when uh, uh, BP Earthwatch began to dig a little deeper, we found out there's even been a landslide event, and maybe still ongoing, a little bit of a landslide going on up on top of that mountain. Now, if you've ever been to Washington State, it's a beautiful state. I've been to Mount Rainier, uh, where you, uh, we took a day one time. My son used to be, my oldest son was stationed at, at, at uh, Fort Lewis, out there south of Seattle, Washington. And we actually took a day, the whole family, and drove out to Mount Rainier, went as high as we could go by road. And I'll never forget, it was a July day and we were having a snowball fight uh, when we got up there. Uh, just a spectacular view of Mount Rainier. But mounts, but I tell you, the beauty of these gorgeous mountains, these that were um, still volcanoes, it's not a pretty sight if they blow. And we may have something going on here. Now, he even looked into some of the uh, seismic activity, and there was a quake. See, some of the people living in that area felt a quake. <clears throat> they called in. They felt it all over the place. They called in. Uh, hundreds of people did. And the U.S. Geological Survey and, and the local authorities there and what have you said there's nothing on the scales there's nothing there, but uh, there is. Matter of fact, inside some of the data, uh, BP was able to find where there was several small earthquakes and tremors, and there was one quake that looked like could have been as much as a five, yet it's not recorded anywhere on the U.S. Geological Survey. So that's what I was saying. They downsize the numbers constantly. They're recalibrating their reporting because they just don't want to tell you exactly what's taking place. The earth crust is moving and shifting and uh, we're under a ton of stress and pressure on this planet but it's exactly what the Bible said would happen there would be earthquakes in diverse places different places famines will come it's gonna be chaos in the land give your life to Jesus Christ folks we're running out of time